Silent Hill 3 is rated M by the SRB. Viewer discretion is advised. I don't know how many times that actually has been there, but it's all a dream. Sooner. Yeah, I guess I was. Anyway, I'm coming home now. Oh, I didn't get that thing you asked me to. Okay. <laughs> okay, I will. I love you too, Dad. Heather, I need to speak with you. My name is Douglas Cartwright. I'm a detective. A detective? Really? Well, nice talking to you. Hold on. There's someone that wants to meet you. Just let me have an hour. No half an hour of your time. My daddy always told me not to talk to strangers. This is very important. It's about your birth. I'm not interested. Are you still following me? Do I have to scream? Sorry. I'll wait here. Yeah, very persistent, isn't he? Oh my goodness. Alright, if when they actually go here, it's like that <laughs> weird old detective is out there. I'm not leaving. Oh, it can't. Okay, so. We are in the, the real world now. <laughs> Not the dream world. Uh, but we only have a knife right now, and we have a pendant. It's like, Dad, Dad gave me this, this pendant on my birthday. It's one of my most uh, <laughs> treasured belongings. And if we can examine it, which we actually do, there's jewel inside, like a little red tablet. When I asked Dad about it, he said, it's just a lucky charm. And... But then he told me to take good care of it and never take it off. Sounds a little suspicious, but hey, anyway. And we also have a key, a house key. Front door key. Days of Ill Apartments, 102. Yep, cool. We live somewhere, dynamite. And we have a, a regular switchblade knife for self-defense. So, I don't think we're uh, in need of that right now. And here we have a kind of a red circle in the uh, middle of the mirror. Let's check it out. This mark on the mirror looks some six familiar somehow. Where did I know this from? Where did I see that? And why does my head hurt so much when I try to remember? 
And that is our save point. I definitely like the uh, the feel of the save points where kind of like this thing where you, it's uh, remember I played this one first and then Silent Hill 2. And Silent Hill 2 had a red piece of paper basically that did the same thing but this one just seemed a little bit better I have to say. Okay, so that's our save point. And uh, we can go bug people in the stalls. Why not? Guess someone's in there. Okay, so we can't go out, so we'll go out the window. Apparently there's a giant window to a back alley. Right. It, that leads to the women's washroom, but hey, whatever, you know. And we got some boxes. Yep. Of course, looking at it, I think Heather could probably jump all the way over that, over even over that fence. But she's too lazy, I guess. Anyway, let's get going. So just like number two, we have a stanometer, even though you can't see it. It's a stanometer. So once we run that out, she'll run a bit slower and she'll have to catch her breath to actually get up there like that. Well, we can't get out here because this guy is horribly parked. That is a good question. It's like, how did they park like that? And first of all, how did they get out of the car? I guess they could have gone out the back, but still. So that leads us to the store. Let's go. And then the music dies down, which is, I love that tune a little bit. Um, and here we are. Welcome to Silent Hill, where everything is locked or broken. Fantastic. So I'm gonna be very OCD on this and check every single door. Even though I do know where to go. So we can't check the lock. Oh, we can't. Oh, there you go. The lockers are locked. Hmm. I do want to say the textures are a lot more like you can actually see a lot better texture wise in the HD version. But again, voices. Oh, I can't stand them. Nope. And there's a thing, there's a door that's just locked, so we can unlock that eventually. It's broken. Broken. And here we are. Now someone's around here, but my god. The, uh, the place has definitely gone through a little bit of uh, a mess thing. It seems like everything's closed. And the shor shutters, doors down. But I guess we can go in here. Seems like where the noises, the voices are coming from, so let's see. If there's an argument somewhere. That's a hell of an argument, I have to say.
don't like the reaction much. What the hell is this thing? Wow, that was an interesting start. It's definitely not human. I've never heard of such an animal. And there's no way it's a costume. Yeah, it sounds crazy, but the word monster is the only thing for it. But I don't think I'm crazy. Well, it's good to think that you're not crazy. <laughs> it's not that I hate the clothes, but it's not the time or place. Why not, Heather? You can go to a try on some stuff. There's obviously no staff around, and... You know, the only person that's uh, in here is kind of dead, I have to say. You can tell from here it's dead. Should I call the police? Uh, not like they believe me if I said someone got killed by a monster. So let's go take these handgun bullets over here. Oh, yeah. And... For some reason that gun was loaded and now it's unloaded because of the cutscene and we can also load it up. Okay, and just to point out because, you know, for, I guess, useless trivia, the model of this um, corpse that's on the floor is apparently Angela from number two, even though it's probably just um, a reused model because why not? All right, so let us go up the back way. And now we can actually open this door because we're on the other side of that door. Checking it. The revolts of Trimal. Interesting. That's. I'm going to be equipping the knife. I don't really need a handgun right now. All right, let's take a look around. More lockers. Is it me or is it getting a little darker also? You know, the lights are like on dim a little bit. Lockers are still locked. The locks are broken here. Locks are broken. All right, so if we go over here, we finally get a map to the place, which is good. We're at Center Square Shopping Center. Cool. And we go through here. This leads to the door, and I swear she's like the laziest person. It's like, I don't want to climb through the boxes or anything, well, I guess. If you're in a mall, it shouldn't be there anyway, so. Place is a basement, interesting. Okay, so let's go up. 